Welcome, Rail fans, to another Frog and Flange video.
reading a little on the AC44C6M, we unexpectedly fell down a bit of a rabbit hole. Wiki says the list of railways using this Dash 9 conversion contains only five names, with Norfolk Southern being by far the largest user with 78%, around 630 units, of the existing AC44C6M population. We take this with a grain of salt, of course, but it may be suggestive of the general situation. The other users of the AC44C6M are Union Pacific with 75 units, Canadian National with 50 units, Fortescue Metals Group with 28 units, and finally, Quebec North Shore and Labrador with 19 units. So what is the rabbit hole exactly? I expected the above list to contain only well-recognized names of Class 1 railways in North America. I was wrong. Having absolutely no idea who, what, and where Fortescue is, I just had to dig into it. So, who is Fortescue? Fortescue Metals Group is one of the world's largest producers of iron ore, with mining centers located in Western Australia, supported by 11,000-plus employees. Located in the Pilbara region of Western Australia, the company has land holdings exceeding 87,000 square kilometers, larger than the holdings of BHP and Rio Tinto. Their main mining center is the Chichester Hub, where the Christmas Creek and Cloudbreak mines are located. So what is the operating environment for Fortescue's AC44C6M units, and how demanding is their traffic? Christmas Creek and Cloudbreak produce 90 million tons of iron ore, annually. There is more. The other hub, the Solomon Hub, produces in excess of 40 million tons per annum. Suffice it to say, the transportation demands, to move this ore to the company's deep water facility at Port Headland, are quite significant. The environment is hot, dry, and dusty. To deal with these massive cargo requirements, the company built its own standard gauge, heavy haul, private railway, at a cost of some $2.5 billion US. The line opened in 2004. The railway extends some 760 kilometers and presently is believed to support axle loadings of 42 tons. Fortescue claims that their railway is the fastest heavy haul railway in the world and the journey from mine to port takes approximately 5 hours and on average 14 trains are operated per day. The journey by rail is mostly a downhill run from the mines to deep water loading facilities, with the empties being hauled back uphill to the mines. As of 2022, Fortescue's rail operations include 54 operating locomotives that haul 16 train sets. Each train set is about 2.8 kilometers in length and has the capacity to haul 34,404 tons of iron ore in 244 cars. Fact, FMG's locomotives consume 82 million liters of diesel fuel annually. Given the obvious climate impact of the above, FMG is working hard towards eliminating the associated emissions through their development of the Infinity Train, which will use regenerative tech to charge onboard batteries on the descent and which will power hauling the empties back uphill to the mines. The plan is to spend $50 million before 2024 to develop the system.